My name is Susan Green. I'm an attorney, and I've been practicing law for more years than I admit at this stage of my life. I also am a Lyme patient. Approximately 10 years ago, I was in the middle of a trial. I had a seizure. I lost my ability to speak and retrieve language, curled up in a ball, and my, all of my limbs were twitching, and I would remain that way. My memory was completely wiped out. I would remain that way for quite some time. I went to doctor after doctor, same story. Nobody knew what was wrong with me. Finally, I begged a doctor to give me antibiotics. He was an infectious disease doctor. He said to me, you don't have Lyme disease. He says, but you're so hysterical, I'm going to give you another test, and I'm going to give you the antibiotics just to calm you down. Very reputed doctor, John Hopkins. So he gave me the test, and he gave me the antibiotics. You can imagine his surprise when several days later, Wednesday, on a six, at 6.30 in the morning, he called me, told me I was off the charts. I had had four prior tests. They were all negative. He, I went to his office, and I had the most unusual experience. He leaned across his desk, and he pushed a barrel of antibiotics at me. And he said to me, I can't treat you. You're a very, very sick woman. And he said, but I would be drummed out of my society if I were to treat you with long-term antibiotics. I'm very sorry. You're going to have to find another doctor. And I went from state to state looking for a doctor who could take care of my needs. It would be 20 months of IV antibiotics and 72 hyperbaric oxygen dives before I would resume my ability to speak. I do believe I would be dead today but for the, the doctors who risked their licenses to treat me. We have a terrible problem. I, as an attorney, I told all these doctors, if you get me back my ability to speak, I will help you, because these doctors come under attack from medical boards on a regular basis. They come under attack simply because they prescribe long-term antibiotics. It's insane to me that a child with acne can get a year of antibiotics to treat their skin, but a person with a progressive and potentially fatal disease cannot get treatment for more than 28 days because we are the only population that seems to get the superbugs. It doesn't make any sense. Okay? So I defend doctors' licenses before the medical boards. Many patients who saw that their doctors were going to be in jeopardy of losing their licenses have gone around the country and passed laws to protect doctors who prescribe long-term antibiotics. Everybody, the whole community, would celebrate when these laws were passed. But I'm here to tell you that it hasn't stopped the medical boards. Because what they have done now is they go around and they charge these doctors with, uh, they'll come, they, they hold them to a higher standard of care. They engage in a discriminatory practice of singling out these doctors based solely upon the type of medicine that they provide. And now they will go into their charts, they'll hold them to a higher standard of care, and they'll charge them with coding violations, record violations, record keeping violations, and they are still in danger of losing their licenses. They spend exorbitant amounts of money defending themselves just to be able to serve the community. I ask that you unfetter the hands of these doctors who are on the front line of battling, trying to find a treatment and help these very sick and marginalized people. Thank you. Thank you, Susan.